What's going on, everybody? Future DDS family. Today, we are here with Brian Morrison from UNLV School of Dental Medicine. He's joining us today. Brian, what's going on, man? Thanks for taking some time out and speaking with us. Yeah, no problem. I got plenty of time uh, with the coronavirus, so uh, it's no big deal. No Happy problem. to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. So if you could, man, just reintroduce yourself. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, exactly where you're from, you know, where you went to undergrad, what you majored in in undergrad, and then if you took any time off in between, you know, going from undergrad to dental school, what you did in that time. Sure. Um, so like you said, I'm Brian Morrison. Uh, I'm from here in Las Vegas, actually. Um, but I did my undergrad at BYU up in Provo. Uh, I was an exercise science major up there and uh, took me five years to do my undergrad, but um, straight out undergrad, I ended up here at UNLV for dental school. So um, was there anything else that I missed there? No, no, you got, you, you, you got everything. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. So, you know, this is the burning question all the pre-dents have is, uh, what was the number one tip that you could give on how to do well on your DAT? Or what was okay. like number one tool that you use? Yeah. So, um, I've been seeing it a lot and like most of the people that uh, I know here at UNLV, most of us did DAT bootcamp with Chad's videos, mm -hmm. DAT destroy questions. Like that was huge for me. Um, I basically between spring and summer semester, my undergrad, um, I took the 10 weeks or whatever that that bootcamp says to take. And I just did five to eight hours a day studying for the DAT and then ended up taking it in the, like the, the first day that I could in June. Um, and I ended up doing pretty well. I got a 24. Nice. So I would say, um, you know, that like, it really prepared me. It's, it's most similar, I would say to how like the actual debt was, where the like, the boot camp questions and the debt destroyed questions. So gosh, you guys, you worked out first time, man. <laughs> That's yeah, good. Good. I was lucky. I know not everybody's that lucky. But I don't know, it was really I think with it, like the schedule, the how regimented it was and how like specific it was of everything that you need to study that day. Mm -hmm. um, was really helpful for me. It kind of guided my study. I don't know, the DAT can seem kind of overwhelming. Yeah, you don't definitely. really know what to like expect, what's gonna be on there. But I feel like with DAT Bootcamp, it, it kind of focuses on the stuff that's important and uh, gets you really ready. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, you know, for anyone that's, you know, specifically looking at UNLV um, and thinking about applying there, what type of, or, you know, first off, do you guys have any uh, kind of enrichment programs or what type of enrichment programs do you guys have there if it's whether it's an impressions day or maybe like a feeder master's program or undergrad type of program like um do you guys have? so i know that they have um i didn't go to unlv specifically for undergrad so i'm not like super familiar with everything that they have but i know right. that they have a um a really good pre-dent society i don't know if it's a club or whatever but they um every every month we do a, a saturday clinic for veterans and a saturday clinic for children's and i always see the pre-dent society there they get to assist they get to see what it's like to work with patients they get to see how dental school students have to go through clinic and work with um like doctors in the clinic and how that like relationship goes um and they also get to serve like you're working on veterans and people that are you know serve our country or you're working on underserved children and I don't know, it's really rewarding for them. And it's something I think that goes a little beyond um, just shadowing because you actually get to like get in there and assist and rather than you're just like watching or whatever, but you're like in there learning how to use, I don't know if you guys use Axiom, but you're getting in there and you're, you're seeing how to like, I ha I've had pre-dent students chart for me in Axiom and stuff. Yeah. And so they're kind of <laughs> like learning that. Um, and I know they do like other activities. I'm not, I wish I was more familiar with what UNLV itself did as far as pre-dent, but it's much more of an active pre-dent society, I would say, than at BYU where I went to undergrad. Got you, got you, got you. So, you know, uh, you know, thinking back to, you know, after you finished taking your DAT and you were applying to schools, um, first off, is UN, was UNLV pretty much the one school you applied to? And then on top of that, if you kind of take us through the interview process that you had at UNLV. Sure. 
So, um, you know, V wasn't the only school I applied to, but it was my number one school just because it was close to family. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to get in-state tuition, which would, made it significantly cheaper than some other schools. Like I, I applied to like AT Still and Midwestern and those were going to be a little more expensive just because they're private schools. This is a public school. And, right. um, but so that was kind of my thought process is I wanted to be close to the family, wanted to make it more affordable. Um, and because I was a resident of Nevada, it was like a little bit easier to get in here. I had a better shot of getting in here. So right. um, that was kind of my thought process with it. Um, the interview actually was, I don't know, it was a lot less intimidating at UNLV than I like built it up in my mind to be. Um, when I got there, it was, everybody was very cool, very chill. Like they were excited for us to be there. It was almost like they were trying to sell us on the school rather than vice versa. We were trying to sell them. Um, but, you know, everybody that I met that day was very friendly. They were very um, informative about the school and like excited for us to be there. So um, I don't know. It, I remember walking out of the interview being a lot more relieved about um, my chances at UNLV than like coming into the interview. So that was kind of good. I don't know. Um, so I guess uh, if you could take me through like how the day was, like sure. you guys go on a tour first and then you have your, uh, I guess like your one-on-one -on -one interviews. Is it a group interview? If you could kind of walk me through some of the specifics with that. Yeah. So a lot of the day is learning about UNLV. So they'll do like uh, information about um, kind of the demographics of the school, like who gets in, who, who, uh, what the, which each class is made up of, like, um, where they, where they applied from, what states they're from, things like that. Um, you learn about like the cost and the tuition, they break that down for you. Um, I don't remember being like surprised at all about, there was nothing they didn't like, um, you know, when I eventually got to UNLV, it wasn't like, it was like a bait and switch or something, but it, it was like pretty good information, pretty accurate. Um, and then we eventually like went on a tour. They showed us the classrooms. They showed us the sim lab. They showed us the clinic, um, research labs, things like that. And um, eventually we had a, so they do like a student interview where you interview with a, one of the current students and then you interview with the faculty and they each uh, grade, give you like a grade one to five of how, how you did on your interview. Okay. Uh, me personally, the people that I've interviewed, I've always just given them fives because you know, you're kind of just looking for people that you don't want to, that you want to be with. Like you, you're not looking for, you're kind of, I don't know, you're just kind of looking for people that you want to spend four years of your time with and, that uh, fit, rather than fit, like fit in. judging them on who they are. Um, if they're, you know, like, if you fit in with them or whatever, it's just like, is this a good person? Is this a person gonna, that's gonna um, be uh, pleasant to work with regardless of who they are, you know? Gotcha, you, gotcha. I definitely, I understand that, yeah, for sure. Um, so, uh, you know, after you finished your interview, you got your acceptance, uh, you know, you finally show up to, to campus as a, mm -hmm. a first year dental student. Could you kind of, uh, you know, take me through how that first year was for you? Um, you know, just take me through, how the curriculum was, uh, as well as, you know, how you were kind of introduced into the clinic aspect of dental school. Sure. Yeah, I, I think at the beginning, I forgot to mention, I'm a DS3. Okay. Um, so I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm going through a lot of like the didactic courses and stuff like that. So uh, the, the first year, though, was definitely the hardest year of dental school. Um, and it's the biggest adjustment to dental school. I think a lot of people say that um, it's just because it's you go from having 18, 19 credits mm -hmm. or whatever in undergrad, and then now you're taking 32, 33, 34 yeah, credits. Big jump. And you're in class all day, and you have tests and quizzes, and uh, they you just have to kind of balance it all. And um, it can be really overwhelming, but um, I don't know, it, it was... I'm glad that it's over, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it was a tough time. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know what else to say about it other than, you know, it's just something that every dental student has to go through. Um, but it's definitely now it's like, it's worth it and kind of paid off. But yeah. while you're in it, it kind of feels like there's no end and you're a little, mm -hmm. it's, you're definitely stressed. 
studying your tail off. Yep. Um, do you guys have a, do you guys start doing uh like, I guess, dental specific classes in your first year or is it pretty much all science, science classes? Do you guys uh, touch clinic at all? Yeah. So one of the good things about UNLV is that they try to get you into clinic very early. Mm -hmm. um, so by the end of your, or by the end of your first year, uh, start of the second year, you're in clinic and you're actually seeing hygiene patients and doing prothes and things like that. Um, so the first year they kind of, break you in a little early like the first semester you do waxing and you learn how to wax teeth and learn about dental anatomy um your second semester you start doing like fillings you do you do regular like class ones class twos things like that um and then by your third semester you're doing crowns and you're doing uh kind of more advanced uh operative stuff so uh, they do a really good job, I think, of getting you ready because they kind of break you in um, early. They get you going. They get you ready to um, get into the clinic early um, just because they feel like that's super important. Got you, got you, got you. So, you know, we're going to start wrapping up here. Uh, you know, I got a few more questions for you, though. So if you could, you know, think of it, and, and I'm sure this is going to be very subjective because you only have one one dental school experience, but what is something that you feel like is very unique about your school, about UNLV in particular? Okay. Um, I think, I think, like I said, the biggest thing that's unique is the focus on um, getting like a good clinical experience. Right. Um, we see uh, the school is kind of in a, uh, it's in a, it's, it was built purposely in an area that can serve kind of an underserved population. Um, and so there's like no shortage of patients. Um, and we see like a lot of complicated medical patients. Uh, we see a lot of dentally complex patients. We have um, a peds and a ortho residency. But everything else is kind of left to us. So we see a lot of complex oral surgery patients. Um, some students by the end of their fourth year are doing impacted third molars and placing implants and things like that. So they really do um, put the emphasis on learning um, good clinical skills, learning um, how to treat people that are going to be your more difficult patients when you get into private practice and making sure that you treat them safely and um giving them like good care uh and i think that's and they get you started early like you you're you're starting to see people in your second year and you're seeing people that uh you know are are medically complex and they need uh you to be on top of knowing your medications and things yeah. like that and yeah. how it's going to affect your treatment so that's i don't know I, I think that's super unique about unlv um at least with my experience of talking to other people that I know that have gone to other dental schools, um, they do, we do get a pretty exceptional uh, clinical experience here at UNLV. Nice, nice, nice. So just to wrap up here, uh, I got one more question. I, I just want you to uh, kind of put yourself in the shoes of, of younger you while you were applying. If okay. you could go back, you know, now and tell that version of you when you were applying to school and really, you know, fighting to get into dental school, if you could tell, uh, that version of you, one thing, you know, give them any type of advice, what would that be? Um, I would tell that person, um, I don't know, not to, that it's like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know. Like I, I'm kind of at a point where I can kind of see myself being done with school. Um, I've gone through the hard stuff. Um, and now it's kind of like just, uh, kind of, I'm kind of like in the motion of dental school. I would tell my, my past self to not worry so much, like yes. kind of just, <laughs> just do the things that you know you're supposed to do. And like, it's going to work out. Like, you know, if you study hard, if you, if you, um, you know, get good grades, if you, or, you know, if even, even then, like there, there's always an opportunity. There's always a way to find yourself into dentistry, even if, it takes a couple tries. Um, you know, sure. there, there's, you, I don't know, I, I, the people at Tufts, I'm sure there's people that you know in your class that it take them two, three, four times to get into dental school. There's people in my class that are 40 years old yep. and they're, you know, they're in dental school and that's the, been their dream. So, and they're doing it now. 
And so I would just tell my past self to not worry about it so much and just take it one day at a time. And without a doubt, and, and you'll get there. <laughs> without a doubt, man. I, I couldn't agree with you more, man. <laughs> couldn't agree with you more, definitely. Uh, but, you know, definitely, again, we want to say thank you for taking some time out again. Uh, you know, but if anybody has any questions for you uh, about UNLV or maybe more about your journey, about, you know, specific questions about you and your experience in school so far, how could they best reach you? So I'm on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram username is Mac underscore Richie, R-I-T-C-H-I-E. Um, you can find me on there. You can always message me and ask me questions. I'm, I feel free. I love, uh, I love helping out. So nice nice well we'll make sure we put that down in the description man but again uh you know on behalf of the future dds family all the viewers out there all the pretense that i'm sure got a lot of good information from you today uh again thank you man thank you again for that um and you know best of luck going into you know i guess the next couple of years hopefully whenever we get back into clinic full time yeah <laughs> i know who, kn who knows when that's gonna be right now yeah, keeping, <laughs> but, our fingers thank, crossed. keeping our fingers crossed thank you i appreciate it thanks for having me on Yep, no problem, man. But everybody else out there, if you haven't already, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know whenever we post some new content. Stay tuned for the rest of the series. Got a lot of good schools, a lot of good information for you. If you have any questions for us, Future DDS, head over to Instagram, follow us at underscore Future DDS. Send us a DM, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But until next time, this will be it. Thank you, guys. All right, now, Brian. <laughs> Dude.